Hi, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to debug a web application remotely. And I, I've done uh, several videos on how to debug uh, applications remotely in general, but people have asked me exactly how do you do it with a web application that is being served on IIS, so I'm going to be doing that here. So I, I want to first go through how it's done locally. So we're all fairly familiar with uh, a development version so I'm a developer and I'm on my desktop here and I've created a web application in my case it's called sample MVC 5 and I'm just gonna debug it by hitting this debug button and it'll bring up my browser and it's gonna create a localized version of it so it's gonna be localhost in my case port 2028 and once the um, application is done compiling and loading up its debug symbols it'll show up uh, in about probably another 10 seconds here so uh, just oh, so there it is and that's my application and if I wanted to debug something for example I want to click here and uh, this is my home controller so I am gonna put a breakpoint in my code here so when I bring up the browser again and I click on contact, the debug is here. So how do I do this remotely? And a reason why you might want to do this remotely is simply because um, uh, suppose it's the scenario where you have a defect on the QA machines while the QA team is testing it. And it only happens on the QA machine but not on um, say your local machine. Um, so you want to debug the running process on your QA machine because that's how you're going to reproduce the bug. So th yeah, there might be scenarios for this. Um, so I'm going to stop the debugger here and stop debugging my local version. I'm going to go up to my server. So here's my server and I've deployed my application here in IIS. So you'll notice uh, in INET pub ww root I've deployed sample MVC5 and you'll notice in IIS manager I have that application up and running and first thing you need is the debugging tools the remote debugging tools so here um, I'm gonna have this link in the description section this is for uh, 2013 I'm actually using 2012 for my demo but uh, it's so similar so if you scroll down you're gonna need this remote debugging symbols uh, I mean remote debugging tool so you're gonna download it download and install your appropriate version um, so I have mines installed here and I'm gonna bring it up so this is the remote debugging tool and I'm gonna go under options and set up the permissions so I'm gonna say no authentication and allow user to debug so now what this remote debugging tool is doing is it, it's exposing all your processes to the remote Visual Studio that's gonna that's gonna um, connect to this and view all the local processes on the server. So right now I'm on the server. I have this remote debugging tool turned on on the server, and I'm gonna click OK after setting up all the permissions. So it's it's up and running now, and I'm gonna go back to my local machine. So I'm gonna go back to my local machine here. And I do have to do a couple of things here. If I go under Tools and I go into Options, there's going to be a debugging section here. I want to uncheck Enable Just My Code. So I'm going to uncheck this box. And under Symbols, I want to tell it where my PDB files are and how, how they can load them. So some of the more common uh, libraries, PDB files, uh, can be gotten from the Microsoft Symbol server. So I'm going to check that. But this here is uh, some of my uh, debugging symbols. So I set it up to be in my temp directory. So let me bring that up here. And you'll notice I, I put my application PDB file here. You might have several. In my case, I only had one. Uh, so I put the PDB file here. And that's where it's going to look for it. So that's the first thing. And now what I can do is I can go attach to process and I'm going to select the remote no authentication and I'm going to click find and my server 
it finds my server right away, which is uh, Soundwave. So if I go back to my server, uh, my server name is actually Soundwave here. So let me go back to my desktop. Um, so I'm going to click OK. My uh, IP address of my server is 1033.55.99. So I'm going to click Select. And I'm going to look for, so now, as I mentioned before, I'm able to view the processes on the server. So you'll see I have a bunch of processes. The process I want is the IES worker process. So this is W3WP uh, Etsy, which is the IES worker process. And I'm going to click attach here. And it's going to warn me. And so right now, uh, once I OK all the warnings, it's loading the debugging symbols and once again the debugging symbols was whatever you configured under tools options debugging before in that window so I want to show you the particular um, application symbol which is a sample app so here's my sample app MVC and you'll see the symbol is loaded and where it's loaded from so you, you see here it's loaded from my temp to debug symbols directory which is the directory I configured here and once again which is the location I configured here so um, now uh, if, if you don't see this modules panel you could go under debug and go under windows and the modules panel is here so this helps you a lot in seeing what's going on with the debugger now once again, if I want to debug, I just simply put a breakpoint wherever I want, exactly as if um, I, I was locally. Now I'm going to type in the IP address here uh, and go to the server. So this is the server instance and I'm going to click here and it's going to stop and it's going to be on this breakpoint. So that's how you debug locally and um, you know I hope that helps and uh, thank you for watching.